everybody, welcome back to Capture Guide. Today we're going to talk about Magic Lantern and the frames per second override feature and how you can use it to make both really cool time-lapse videos but also some slow motion. And we're going to talk about that here in a couple of weeks on another video, but today we're going to talk about what we're doing here. So we've got the Salt Lake Valley behind us, the sun's going down over in the west, and I've got my camera set up to do a frame override at about three frames per second, and I'm going to let it run just as the sun's starting to go past the mountains over there so we get a really cool time-lapse effect of the smog kind of darkening and the light starting to come out from below the valley. So let's take a look at what our settings are. All right, so we've had this recording now for about 15 minutes, and we're gonna take a look at what settings we've been using. So I'm gonna go into the frame override, and this is what I have it set up. I have three frames per second, so that we're getting a lot more light than normal, and we're also not, we're shooting at a tenth speed here. So everything will be able to be sped up, and it'll look like we've been up here for a few hours getting everything, but we really haven't been here that long. I've done optimized for low light, so that as the sun's going down, some of these darker shades will really start to pop out. And then I've also used the shutter range so that I can get as close to three on the actual frame per second as possible. That's not entirely necessary. If you're fiddling with the desired, you're probably okay and I wouldn't worry about it. So now we'll go back out and we'll take a look at our video.